All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to give you another preview of the 2015 college football season. And for this one, I'm here to talk about the SEC conference in South Carolina. Now, last year the Gamecocks went seven and six. Last year, under head coach Steve Spurrier. Now, obviously, we all see what the issue is. It's mainly on the defensive side. Well, they had they actually had to play without Jadavion Clowney and Kelsey Coral. See, they were actually no longer with the team last season and that was a huge loss they actually allowed 30.4 points per game they needed to do a much better job actually averaging six yards allowed per game they need to do a better job on the defensive side in order to help out with the, uh, help, help out Spurrier and company with more wins it's all on the defense and even this year they have to replace a quarterback and Dylan Thompson which means that at the quarterback position it's either the true freshman entering Lorenzo Nuez, uh, Nuez as well as um, Mitch Connor, who could be in that starting nod. So the race is between those two. Right now, I believe it's going to be Mitch Connor, but come towards the end of the season, it might be Nunez at the end of the year. But he, they do have a star receiver who's actually first SEC, first team all SEC performer, and Farrell Cooper, who had 1,036 yards receiving and nine touchdown receptions last season. And he's definitely looking up to step it up this upcoming season. And I think this is an excellent player. Now, on the defensive side, there is one player that I I do like, and that is Sky Moore, who had 93 tackles last season to go along with three interceptions. Now, they actually had one of the top recruiting class out of all, as far as all, all um, alignment. They picked up a good defensive tackle and Dexter uh, Postman, and they also picked up um, Christian um, Dillage, uh, number 14 offensive tackle, according to ESPN. They picked up the number two uh, um of defensive end out of junior college and Marcavius um, Lewis and Dante Sauer, the number three defensive end. I think he is also from junior college as well. I think this was a decent pickups, but I do believe that the Canecocks will struggle this upcoming season. And I'm actually going to predict them going six and six and barely becoming bowl eligible at the end of the season. If they do not make it to a bowl matchup, Steve Spurrier might be a little bit on the hot seat come towards the end of the season, but I still think they should be bowl eligible at the end of the year. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have three more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.